So this is before and after. Just kidding. After is right here. And welcome back to my channel. Scarlett is sitting behind me and she is talking as I'm talking. So, Scarlett, jokkuman, jokkuman, whilst mommy talks. I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me tonight because I'm headed out for a dinner date with Oppa and a friend who's come over from Australia. So, I actually don't have that much time, but I thought I'd do this because I haven't done a get ready with me for ages. Thank you so much for being patient and supportive whilst I've been MIA during my filming of my show for TLC called Soul Insider. I'm still filming that like crazy at the moment. This whole weekend is tied up on that. Um, I just washed my hair and air dried it naturally and my fringe is not done properly. So we're gonna do our hair as well afterwards. But I thought I'd do this makeup get ready with me for a Susie inspired fall look. It's, remember, it's inspired. I'm not Susie. I do not have her features. And um, we're gonna be using all Etude House makeup products because they're so fun, affordable, creative, and just chat with you guys whilst I'm getting ready. So hopefully you guys will enjoy. So yes, thank you guys. And let's begin with Get Ready With Me. So yes, this is my before. I've just put on a little bit of skincare. And then I'm going to start off by using these. I've been using the heck out of these, carrying these around all the time after I got my fringe. When when I'm doing my show and stuff, my fringe continues to get flat, so I actually carry this around with me and just put it up in between takes. Hope you guys have been well. I kind of just roll it up to about there, and then I'm not gonna leave it on for too long, otherwise it goes like, like really crazy. And then the rest of my hair, I'm just going to curl the ends later. So because Susie's skin is always glowy and Korean makeup is always quite glowy, it's about like that glowy skin base, I'm gonna start off with the Etude House Nymph Aura Volumer. Excuse my really, really chipped bad nails at the moment. I have not had time to um, maintain them. So this is in number four. It's the Ununhan Line Kwangche. I'm just gonna dot it on like this. And I'm actually gonna put this on before and after makeup. Then I'm gonna blend it in with the Etude House Double Lasting Foundation Blender and I've wet this with a little bit of water to make sure that it gives that glow together and doesn't soak up too much of the product. And add just a little bit more. Just focus it on like the sides of the face because that's where it really tends to glow when you turn your face to the sides. I hope this is turning out well. This is my first time filming in this setting. This is my makeup room by the way, which I'm going to do a makeup tour of once I finalize everything. Things are still everywhere at the moment. It moisturizes the skin as well at the same time, so it feels really good. It's like soothing. Can you guys see the glow? It's already glowy, right? I have so much to cover up though. I've been breaking out like crazy because I haven't been sleeping that well and eating not that well as well. But So next I'm gonna be using the Big Cover Concealer Kit, which comes with three different shades. And I like the salmon color in this kit because you can use it to cover the dark circles. It's the perfect color for dark circles. It's getting dark, I have to hurry. Okay, so I'm gonna apply it right under my eyes on my horrible dark circles. And that salmon color really eliminates the dark brown color and the purpleness of the under eye area. As you can see, it's just completely covering it up. And then I'm gonna take the light color on my redness around my nose and here, some of my dark spots. Just take my finger, blend it in. Hello. And then I'm gonna take this concealer which is actually made just for acne. It's AC Clean Up Mild Concealer. It's a mild concealer that's non-comedogenic, test completed for acne skin. I'm gonna just conceal my pimples. I've got like two at the moment and then a little bit of scarring. I shall blend that out with a brush. Making sure to just blend the outside bits. Don't touch the middle bits too much. You know, usually when you have breakouts and it's like active breakouts, you feel like if you put concealer on, it'll get worse. 
This one is, it feels really mild. It's a little bit dark for my skin, but it does the job. So that's that. I've concealed my dark spots and stuff. Now it is time for the Any Cushion Foundation. It's a different kind of cushion because it's actually a cream cushion. It's not, it doesn't have a sponge with liquid inside of it. And it's got like this little net thing, which is really, it's really cool. Like you can't feel it, but you can see it. So I'm just gonna apply it in a patting motion. And this has got a lot of rave reviews from a lot of people recently. A lot of YouTubers, bloggers, it lasts much longer than regular cushions. It leaves your skin almost looking like in the morning, you've just got really clean, naturally nice, fresh looking skin. So yeah, apparently this cushion is supposed to replicate the green tone in our skin. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but it's meant to replicate the green tone so that it makes your skin look really refreshed and bright and vivid. I have a combination T-zone. It looks even nicer throughout the day, which is pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about my fringe. No, it's gonna be way too curly. That's all right, we can live with that. <laughs> That's my fringe. Are you laughing at me, Scarlett? It's okay. I do recommend this cushion, especially for those who have normal combination skin. I think even for dry skin, this would actually work well though, because it's not drying at all. Recently, I've been focusing on finishing my face before going on to brows because I feel like brows become more thicker and unnatural if you do them first. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with contouring first. Now I'm gonna use the Play 101 stick to contour the sides of my face. Just gonna clip this up for a moment just to show you my contour on my forehead. Then I'm gonna blend it in. Blend, blend, blend. Scarlett really likes to talk when there's some kind of noise because I think she feels like she's having a conversation with us. These sticks are actually really good. I'm gonna contour one more time. Because the cushion foundation was actually kind of cream, it works really well with cream contour on top. So similar to if you're using like a powder foundation, powder contour is best. Stick with the same type of products to get the best results. For my nose, I'm gonna contour with the Play 101 pencil in number 41. This is the perfect shade for contouring like small things, especially for my skin tone. So I'm going to just draw down the side of my nose. It's really creamy and it's very blendable too. And I'm gonna draw underneath my nose bridge and then across my nose bridge. Like this. And then for this, I'm gonna blend with a brush. Contouring the nose makes a huge difference. Just make sure not to do too much. Go subtly and then you can build it up. Or if you go too dark, don't be scared. You can just go back over with a little bit of your foundation and that'll look a lot more natural. I'm gonna use the Play 101 Blending Pencil, pencil in number one, which is like a highlight color. And just highlight the top and blend it in. Then I'm going back in with the end cushion just one last time, very, very lightly to blend in all of the contouring. Go really lightly on this bit. Celebrities and actresses usually spend a lot of time on the pibu puyan, which is the expression of the skin. So it really looks like they're not doing much. A lot of them usually don't do too much eye makeup actually, but they focus a lot on the skin and actually spend a lot of time getting that right when they're about to come out somewhere or if they're getting ready for an event or some kind of show because the skin is really important as you guys know to Korean beauty routines. So I'm going to go in with blush and for blush I'm going to be using these cute skull blushes. They look like this. I'm going to layer on two colors in number one, skull rose. So I'm going to go in with this first. Just gently pat onto the cheeks. I'm just going to go right on the cheekbones. Make sure to take a little bit at a time and then blend it out. And then, because I want to brighten up the look a little bit, I'm going to go in with the number two, Punky Pink. It's a really bright pink. I'm going to blend it out one more time. 
It sits so nicely and it just looks so natural because it's so smooth. The cream on cream thing is just awesome. So I've just primed my lids using the Etudas Proof 10 Eye Primer, which was one of my favorite Korean eye primers in my Holy Grail 2015, I think, video. Um, it still is because it's so light. It doesn't have any cakiness, which I find some really well-renowned ones do, but this one doesn't. And then I'm gonna take this really cute palette. It's the Etudas Pink Skull Color Eyes. It has these cute pink colors and a lot of like fallish colors too. Perfect for our look today. Do you just want to sit next to me here? <sighs> I just put Scarlett right next to me. She's sitting right here. So hopefully she won't talk too much now, but we shall see. I'm going to take this yellow colour first and just apply it as a base. I'm going to do my brows last. And then I'm going to take this beautiful bronze metallic brown. This one right here. I'm going to apply it right on the outer half. And then I'm just going to blend it. And it's just a smoky brown look at the moment. And then I'm going to take this, it's like a metallic plum color. And I'm going to blend it into the outer crease, outer corners. And take the blending brush and blend. Blend, blend, blend. This is a super beautiful, beautiful color for the fall. It's so fitting because it just reminds me of like maple tree leaves. Scarlet is not talking as much here, so it's a good move, eh? And then I'm going to take this pink colour and blend it with the coral. It's like a muted coral, so it's really nice. It's not too orangey. And I'm going to place it underneath my eyes, like this. So in Hamburu Etake, Susie actually had a lot of orange under the eyes sometimes. And this is going to mimic that look a little bit. Mm-mm-mm, Scarlet, no, no. So now, I'm going to curl my lashes. Make sure to curl from the root and then bring it up closer and closer to the end. Scarlett's getting really restless. Scarlett, you're like a little kid. Nope. You're not gonna get to my eyelash curler. <laughs> then I'm going to use the Etude House Proof 10 Auto Pencils. It's like a crayon pencil, it's a twist up. Then it has a sharpener at the other end to tight line between my lashes. The weather is getting a lot cooler here in Korea and I'm guessing that it's getting a lot warmer for those who are in like the southern hemisphere. You guys know that I don't really like the cold seasons, I actually die in it. I die and come back to life because my body has very low body temperature. I'm gonna do the other side. Bless you. I hope you guys are enjoying this get ready with me. I know it's kind of like all over the place. But I thought that me actually talking live would be more fun for you guys because sometimes when it's narration, it's just a bit like more artificial-ish because it's just recorded and it doesn't feel like heart to hearty with you guys. So that's why I chose to do this, but leave me your feedback down below and let me know what you prefer. Of course, for makeup tutorials, I'll do proper things where I do the narration and stuff. Taking it ever so slightly higher, and then blend it up with a Q-tip. It's meant to be sort of soft and sexy, so we'll just blend it out. Then I'm going to go in with the brown colour. Susie does a lot of browns and because it also suits the pupil colour and hair colour, I'm just going to do the visible liner and make a gradient of the brown. The black will help to define the eyes and then the brown will make it look naturally defined. Okay. Hello. Hello. I'm going to use the Play 101 pencil in number 40 and I'm going to go over the middle part here because it adds this glamorous gradient that's a lot more natural than that straight brown. This looks a little bit more Susie-esque. I think I'll add a little bit on the inner front. And finally, I'm using the Play 101 blending pencil in number one. This is a highlight pencil. It's not metallic -y, but it has a tiny glow to it. I'm just going to apply it on the inner front, the side area. It's not going to be too over the top like I'm applying glitter, but it's going to make the side sort of puff out a little bit and look really innocent. No, it's going to... 
No, Scarlett. Mm -mm -mm. Uh -uh -uh. It helps if you kind of smile a bit whilst you do it so that your puff comes out naturally and you know exactly where to go. What do you want? What do you want, Scarlett? What do you want? This is not something you can eat. Sigh. Okay, I'm running behind, so let's rush forward. Because I like to do wings in a more sharp manner, I'm going to use the All Day Fix Pen Liner, which is a brown colour. It looks like this. And I'm going to apply the slightest flick within that gradient, just to define it more. Okay, so before moving on to lashes, I'm going to finish my brows now. For brows, I'm going to take the Etude House Drawing Eyebrow Pencil. It's a crayon. Just twist up crayons with that slant going on. So it's really good for quick Filling in of the general brow section. Mm. Gonna keep the brows looking soft and full. These are the Etude House Tint My Brows. There are two colours. I'm gonna use like a lighter colour. In the front bit of the brows, this is something I learned at a recent um, Korean makeup workshop. That you should really use two different shades for your brows because as I said before, your eye just naturally gravitates towards things that look like nature. And in nature, it's never just one shade. There's different shadows, there are different tones. So I'm using the darker one on the outer part to make it more defined on the outside. And I'm doing strokes just like my brow would grow in the direction of the hairs. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. to bring it all together with a touch of brow mascara. Okay, so that's my makeup so far. And then this renowned product, the Dr. Mascara Fixer, which I have only recently started using and it is really good. There is definitely a reason why a lot of people love this. It just holds the curl in place before any mascara, so it makes you be able to use even the most non-waterproof mascaras that usually make your lashes re-droop again. I think it's really good because if you always use waterproof mascara, it's actually really bad for your lashes. They're very drying. Let that dry. Sorry. So it's getting really dark, so I had to bring another light in, so I'm sorry for the lighting change, but yes. And then for mascara, I'm gonna use the Etude House Long Lash Mascara. It's this cute pink skull version with the like polka dots on the cap. And this is actually really good. I really have not delved into Etude House mascaras too much, so I didn't know, but this mascara is the long lash version, so it helps your lashes to get length. It's got the um, fibers to add length. Scarlett is staring into the mirror and looking at herself right now a little bit and then I like to wiggle my brush a little bit as I push upwards and this just helps to make the lashes more evenly long. This is just going to be hopefully very natural and help photos to come out nicely. My Beauty Tool eyelashes in number two long lash. So I'm going to cut it in half and use the first half. I think they will definitely look really natural because they're not connected pieces, but they're just little sp splats, splats, <laughs> little splats of lashes. So it just gives you like a growth spurt in the lash department. So I've just cut about that much some eyelash glue and just waiting for it to dry. I'm doing a video call. Oh, he's still at work. I'm gonna have to call him back later. He's probably in a meeting. Ba pa pa Okay, so I'm just gonna stick this on right at the end of the eyes. Oh, Oppa, you're on speaker with YouTube. Hi, are you at work? No, I'm just leaving work. Are oh, you leaving? So I'm almost ready. What time will you be here? I'm gonna be there in about half an hour. 
Jenny's never on time with her or with her thing, but today she's on time. Maybe. I am. I'm always on time. No, no, no. That's, always that's on time. Okay. I'll, um, I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, bye. Can you see? I did this one side and it doesn't look like falsies. But oh my gosh, they're so cute guys. These pudding tints are super cute in these cute little tubs like this. As I said, I'm really into mixing colors at the moment. So I'm going to use the number one and number two. I'm going to go in with the pink one first, just the tiniest bit. And then there's this like orangey one. This is the number two, Saigu pudding. So I'm mixing these two to get like an orange pink. Just blend out these edges. And then we're gonna add that red plummy sort of look with the Dear Darling tint in number RD301, Real Red. So I'm gonna focus this on the inner part of the lips. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, uh, uh. Scarlett. Uh, uh, uh. Scarlett likes anything that's red. Susie has very thick and luscious lips, which I do not have, so <laughs> this will look really different. I'm also going to add a little bit of a Dracula red. I'm going to deepen up. See, I'm going to try this red one and see how this one looks. These pudding tints are really unique. They go on like a liquid and then they dry down to like a semi velvet mat. And they're very viscose, so they blend on like mousse. Oh, it smells so nice. It smells it smells like candy, like kind of sour, sweet sour candy. I love it. So that is that. As you can see, the more colors you blend together for gradient lips, the better it looks. It just has different tones kind of coming through and it does take a little bit more work than just a regular one lipstick kind of thing but I think it's a really nice look so now I just have to quickly finish my hair before Oppa arrives so I'm going to put my tongs on and then curl the ends quickly. Oh actually before we end I forgot but I'm going to use the Etude House face conditioning fixer to just spray everything in place. It's brand new. I haven't tried it before. Mmm, smells really nice. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, my hair is crazy. That has actually added this really nice glow to my skin. Can you see it? On top of that Any Cushion Foundation. So good. This is a whole face using all Etude House products and it's actually turned out really I think it's okay. <laughs> I'll ask Bob later what he thinks about it. Okay, so I'm going to go and fix the rest of my hair. She has her hair tied in this scene. That's actually what I was going for. She, do you remember that scene? She has her hair tied and she's got that green bomber jacket on. Let me be back with my tongs. It's got a bit more dimension in the curls rather than just one straight cylindrical thing. I need to put on my gloves because I freaking always burn myself if I don't use these gloves. I'm liking this subtle thing that I've done using the Play 101 blending pencil. And I'd better hurry up because Oppa's gonna come home and he's gonna be like, you're still not ready, Jen. I'm going to just do the ends like this. Oh, here he is. Oppa watta. Uh-oh, I'm not ready yet. Oppa. Yeah. Gift from me. What is you. that? I don't know. Somebody told you something. I'm almost done, Oppa. I think Susie's kind of similar to me. She seems to enjoy having thicker curls than thinner curls. I'm gonna do two crazy, I guess. Like just about that much. Nah, maybe a little bit more. And then sideburns. Just a little bit. Skylar, are you having fun watching me get ready? You like watching me get ready? Susie also has like a little bit of volume along this part here. So I'm just going to add a bit of volume there. I'm bending it backwards away from my face. Sideburns make a huge difference when your hair is tied up. So just to show you guys the actual inspirational scene that I took this from, I'm gonna go all the way. Her hair was tied back. Tuck 
good girl. So this is the completed look guys. Hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me for this Suzy inspired Hamburu Etutage fall makeup look and I'm gonna go out on my date now so I hope you guys have a really good night as well or a good day wherever you are. Stay warm or cool whatever season it is as well and remember that you are beautiful inside and out. I will be back with my regular videos soon because my TV program filming is almost over so thank you so much for being patient and for all your continued love and support. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and you would like more of these in the future. I love you guys heaps and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Kamitobaya! It's not ready yet. Scarlet! This is important. The fringe is everything. Oh! Um, Scarlett, are you okay there? Mmm, good stuff. Ah, good stuff. Okay. She's so curious. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'll give you this to play with. <laughs>